in this scenario, I'm actually going to as built the edges of this road. On this side, I've got a six inch reveal off of the curb. And then over here, I've got a traditional curb. We're going to redo this road. So I'm going to build a new model from the lip of gutter right here, this uh, edge of pavement. Over here, I'm going to do this six inch reveal. I've already verified that with a tape measure, but it does vary a little bit up and down. So we're going to make a new model. So using the exact same option, I'm going to go into the menu. I'm going to go down to settings. I'm going to go into measure. I'm going to make sure that this measured offset is enabled. So now in here, I can go into my measure type or the roller stuck in the mud. I can go to new line and right here I'm going to call this the uh, reveal. I'm going to do it as a break line because I'm going to make a surface out of it minus 0 0.50 and I'm going to have it show me every time just in case. So now what I can do is go ahead and set up on my curb right here and as I shoot this it's going to as built the existing edge. So as I as built this edge right here, I'm shooting the top of the concrete, but it's actually projecting that line down to an offset for my reveal. So I don't have to worry about doing the math or editing the line later on. Now that I've done with that line, I need to switch over here to the uh, edge of pavement and I'm going to go off the lip of this gutter, but this time I don't need an offset. So I'm going to just set my offset back to zero. I'm going to just leave it as uh, a break line, but we'll call this the uh, EOP. And then we'll shoot down the edge of this line and then we'll surface it out. Okay, now that I've gotten both sides shot right there, what I do to cut, cut myself off from being tagged that line is I hit the menu and I go to measure and it stops me from that. So now that this is the only thing on my work order, in order to surface this now, you go menu, go down to data management and I'm gonna do surface and design. And I'm gonna call this the uh, new road. Here on this next one, I am going to include the line work. It gives you the option to actually show that or not. That's my measured line work. I always like to include it so I can see my edges. And I'm going to hit accept. And I don't need to define an outer boundary because I created a brand new work order. It's the only thing on there. So it's not going to encompass any of the other shots from other work orders. So I'm going to do use outermost points. And I'm going to accept. Now that model has been built. So I'm back where I'm at. But if I go into my menu here, go to project setup and change project, you'll have a drop down here now that shows new road. So I can go ahead and load that. Set out on the middle of the road. And I have a surface. Because if I move this over, and zoom in on it and see it in 3D. You see the triangulation that it uh, made as it made the surface, just like it would in Business Center. And roll it, look at it, and we can start checking grade. Now that's obviously the finished grade, so I can put an offset in if I needed to. So now that I come over here, and come over to the edge here and make sure that the offset worked correctly. So as I sit down, you can see that I got a cut of 500, 700s, and that's why we rebuilt this, is because the uh, asphalt does not match exactly to the six inches. Right there, it's, it's pretty close. There's a patch right there. But that is how you create a surface with your data collector um, and use vertical offset in your shots so that you don't have to edit them later on. So thank you for watching this video from Site Picking Mountain, Site Works Training Videos.